industrial technology timber. Uh, this specifically is designed to cover the theory associated with industry study for the preliminary course. Uh, there is a little bit of extra information uh, you'll see in some of the presentations that come through that sort of stretch you right through to um, some of the content that you may be interested in for the HSC. Um, but this set of slides is specifically designed for industry study. As we get started, if you're introducing yourself to industrial technology for the first time, um, have a look at the links and pay a little bit of attention to uh, the syllabus. You can see that the syllabus is from 2008. If you click on the link provided in the slides, uh, that'll take you directly to Ness's website where you can download a copy of the syllabus. Uh, but I've also provided a summary version of the syllabus. Um, the reason I've made a summary version is because you may not know with industrial technology, but it is actually the same subject for timber as it is for multimedia. What that means is when it comes to the HSE exam, we do a common paper. So our extended response, for example, in the HSE exam is the same for both timber students and multimedia students, which means you can only choose to do one of the subjects. Uh, the same goes for if you're doing industrial technology graphics, automotive, or any of the other variants in there. So the syllabus is quite a long and extensive document because it has all of the content from the different focus areas. As we are focusing on the timber products and furniture industry, uh, this presentation is really targeted to that and all the examples I provide are, are timber industry related. Uh, so just making sure you're aware of that. The other crucial thing to note here is you'll be compared um, as a cohort against timber and multimedia students together. So uh, in 2021, we have three classes, each with 20 kids in the classes. So there's a total of 60 students. So you are, you are going to be one student ranked out of a total of 60 students. All right, so we get started and we'll start looking at the industry study. So the industry study is an opportunity for us to look at what it's like to work in the industry and what are some of the current and common practices that are happening in our industry. Now, Remember, we need to focus specifically on what is happening in the timber product and furniture industry, the TPFI as you'll sometimes see it nicknamed. There are a couple of different uh, outcomes that we're going to address across the uh, lecture series. There are around about seven lectures for the different content areas we need to look at. Um, but effectively, you can see we need to look at the organisation and management structures of businesses. We need to look at the tools, equipment, processes, manufacturing techniques uh, of different companies in our industry. We look at what it is that makes quality products and how we control quality uh, in our industry. We also look at the impacts to the social and physical environment of our industry. And uh, lastly, there's a bit of a um, bit of an exploration into new and emerging technologies in our industry and how they impact on both society and on the environment. So if we break it down into six key headings, uh, structural factors, technical factors, environmental factors, sociological factors, personnel issues, and work health and safety. So that's how our uh, lecture series are gonna be broken up into those six key headings. And that's the end of the introduction. So look forward to having you on board for the next six lessons. Thanks.